Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, many people are aware that the seeds, leaves, and fruits of the milk thistle plant contain unique constituents that are shown to help protect and repair liver damage that occurs under certain conditions. Now, these unique milk thistle constituents known as solimarin also help to support liver detoxification function as well. Now, some human studies have shown that milk thistle supplementation has been beneficial in cases of viral hepatitis, alcohol-induced liver damage, and in liver toxin damage, where you actually see objective improvement on blood tests, such as decreasing liver enzymes that are typically used to track uh, liver, various liver diseases. So it's not just the person feels better, but you actually see objective measurement on blood tests that these serum uh, liver enzymes are going down, meaning liver function is improving. But recent experimental studies have shown that milk thistle also shows promise as an agent that may block steps in the development of certain cancers, particularly pancreatic cancer, prostate cancer, liver cancer, and skin cancer. Now, the evidence, this evidence is thoroughly reviewed in the 2022 publication in the Iran Journal of Basic Medical Science. And I think this review article is important because pancreatic cancer in particular is the fourth leading cause of cancer death in both men and women. In the United States, the five-year relative survival rate is only 12%, making it a very lethal form of cancer. And not a, lot, not a lot of progress has been made in curing this condition, as you probably know. So as, re as reviewed by these researchers, milk thistle has been shown to block key events in pancreatic cells that lead to the development of pancreatic cancer. As they explain, pancreatic cancer begins from non-invasive masses, usually pancreatic intraepithelial neoplasias, as they're called. These are precancerous lesions in the pancreas. These cancers may develop from intraductal papillary mucinous neoplasms or mucinous cystic neoplasms. The key part is that these are easily detected upon screening by an abdominal ultrasound or MRI. So they can be found just by having a screening ultrasound or MRI of the, of the abdomen. Now in animal models, milk thistle supplementation has been shown to decrease severity of pancreatic, pancreatitis in mice who were given chemicals to induce pancreatitis, sort of an inflammation of the pancreas. But this is important because pancreatitis is a key risk factor for the future development of pancreatic cancer in humans. As well, milk thistle applied to human pancreatic cells induces DNA damage to these cells, causing them to commit suicide, or what we call apoptosis. Milk thistle also inhibited a key cancer gene called CMYK that promotes pancreatic cancer when applied to human pancreatic cells in experimental studies. So by inhibiting that gene, you help to prevent cancer from developing. Other experiments show that milk thistle blocks pancreatic, uh, cells from pancreatic cancer cells from dividing and multiplying, which helps to contain them, if you will, if, if the pancreatic cells are present. Milk thistle has also been shown the ability to cause uh, cell suicide in various human pancreatic cell lines. That means that they've taken different human pancreatic cells that have different features, and when they, when they apply milk thistle to those cells in ex, under experimental conditions, it, it inhibits their ability to, to, to divide and it causes them to commit suicide. This is all very, very impressive stuff. I'm not saying that milk thistle is a single answer to preventing pancreatic cancer is there are established risk factors for this disease that you should know about, some of which can be addressed by diet and lifestyle. So the established risk factors for pancreatic cancer as outlined by the American Cancer Society include cigarette smoking, being overweight, type two diabetes, chronic pancreatitis, workplace exposure to certain chemicals used in the dry cleaning and metal working industries. Also, age is a risk factor. The older you get, the greater is the risk. With respect to race, uh, African Americans are slightly more likely to develop pancreatic cancer than American whites. In terms of family history, it's a risk factor, but most people who develop pancreatic cancer, there is no family history of the disease. There are some inherited gene mutations which account for about 10% of all pancreatic cancers. Now, there's emerging evidence that diet and other lifestyle factors are important. The regular consumption of red meat and processed meat, such as sausage and bacon, 
and, and animal fats high in saturated fat may increase the risk of pancreatic cancer. This is evidence that's starting to show up. And sugary drinks may also increase the risk. But more research is required in these areas, of course. But heavy and moderate alcohol consumption, the evidence for this is quite convincing that it increases the risk of pancreatic cancer. And infections such as H. pylori and hepatitis B increase the risk of developing pancreatic cancer and more research is underway in that area as well. So it's important to be cognizant of all these risk factors and to do your best to modify your lifestyle to reduce your risk of modifiable factors such as smoking, weight gain, heavy alcohol consumption, and so on. Can taking a milk thistle supplement each day be an adjunctive measure to help reduce pancreatic cancer? Well, the experimental evidence argues quite strongly for this effect, as well as its potential preventive effects for prostate, liver, and skin cancers as well. Now, because our liver detoxification enzymes become more sluggish as we age, and our immune system becomes weaker as we get older, my feeling is that everyone 50 years of age and older should consider taking a supplement each day, as I do, that contains milk thistle, standardized to 80% solimerin content, with indole-3-carbinol from cruciferous vegetables, and reishi mushroom extract, and astragalus. These four natural agents work synergistically to support liver detoxification function and immune system function. Secondary benefits of milk thistle in a formulation like this may also help to prevent and reverse some existing liver damage from drugs, alcohol, toxins, infection, and may help block important biological steps in cancer development within certain organs and tissues. So this is something to consider and to investigate further in my view. Now I've included the references on milk thistle and cancer and milk thistle and liver conditions in the text below. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.